What the hell made you want to start a band in the first place? Well, it's, also, it's something we've always wanted to do. I guess ever since, you know, uh, well, I know ever since, since I've seen the Beatles on Ed Sullivan or something, I wanted to do this, you know? And, uh, and also you want to kind of, we were kind of disgusted with the music we were hearing also in America on the radio. Everything's kind of very uh, fabricated and uh, it's not real anymore. It's not uh, from the gut and soul anymore. And you want to do something about changing it and making things better, which uh, since the time we came out, things have totally changed and have gotten better in a lot of senses, you know, as far as a whole like new wave of new music by people who do care, who want to see change and see something, uh, see music being bettered, you know? Were you influenced in any way by the UK music scene? Well, yeah. we, were, we were here before it was there, you know? Like, when we started, it was 74. At that time, the only music in the UK was uh, pub rock. That was the big music, uh, Dr. Feelgood. And when, and, uh, when, we, when we went to England, uh, summer 76, um, we met the likes of those bands who were just forming their band, who were influenced by our first album. So, you know, when, like, uh... Before any of the English groups put out an album, we were already up to, uh, our third album. Right. Before that time, anyone, like, the first Sex Pistols album came out or something like that. There are a lot of people who think that the UK music scene yeah. influenced the American thing. We're aware of that. <laughs> and the things you actually got into music for, because the things you were hearing at the time, you were sick and tired of, you thought they were too stylized, do you think you've had any influence in actually changing that? Really? Yeah, I think there's oh, been yeah, a, for I think, sure. I think there's been a big change, you know. A anytime you have to get kids to feel like they can do it and uh, they go out and buy guitars and start bands and, you know, try to do something that's exciting and fresh instead of just uh, a bunch of old men playing stuff that uh, it's not rock and roll. Do you think it matters, though, whether the people are young or old who play the music? Well, they just have a... Um, not really, but as it turned out, that a lot, they just have this, they don't have fresh ideas anymore, you know. You could be old and have fresh ideas, but, you know. Let's talk about the groups that have been around for so long. Uh, you know, all the, the, the big groups and then all these other groups that came out after them just try to be like them. Like it was all these Led Zeppelin imitations and things like that. You just wanted some fresh ideas, you know, not imitations of people new things. How important, you know, in thinking of what you've just said, how important is success in all of that? Ah, well, that's, that's what you're striving for, and the final, the final product, the final outcome. Yeah, you want to succeed, but you don't want to... But you, want to, but you don't want to lose your values at, at the same time either, you know? And, um, or integrity, you don't want I, to compromise and do something that you're not. You have to do what you set out to do and try not to lose track. Uh, a lot of people, I'm sure, set out to do that, but you, maybe they weren't aware of it, also they lost track. You just have to try to stay aware of it, and always keep thinking of it, and you know, what you set out to do and your goals. And a lot of people think that they are successful now, they think they have done it and haven't lost track, though they have, you know? But I think the whole new mu music has made a lot of the uh, bigger established groups look back and become a little more conscious of what they were doing. I can see the Rolling Stones and all that becoming more conscious of what they're doing now. You yourselves, are, are you ever concerned, perhaps, at, at the lack of success, as opposed to other bands that might have copied you over the years and who seem that much more successful today? Uh, well, you try not to let that bother you, because uh, they are different, and uh, the bands that did succeed are more middle of the road, and, uh, and a lot of them made compromises along the way to succeed. And that's not what we wanted to do. We believe in trying to succeed at what we're doing. And we're determined to make it the way we are.